look! Another worker who thinks they can address their betters! I'm sure everyone's impressed that you killed a pig in the hole. Don't think that makes you an equal. It's the price I pay for perfection. And a fair price it is if it means I can avoid things like you. Covered. I'll be with you right after I maintain some order and dispense a little justice. And I suppose you'll follow that up by raising the dead. No, but I may heal the infirm later in the week. Time permitting, of course. Sir, we've had sightings of Werner back in the city, and there's been an increase in chatter between slaves. Workers. What? We call them workers. Helps with morale. Reminds them that they might earn their freedom someday. Whatever we call them, they've been gathering makeshift weapons. All right, all right. Put your guards on alert. Tell them to be on the lookout for anyone loitering too long downtown. And keep a watch on Medea at all times. Anything big happens, it's bound to go through her. Now. I've got a very important meeting with our new friend. So if anything big comes up, you use the intercom. Yes, sir. Okay, break's over. Nice work in the hole, new blood. Knew you couldn't be one of our normal workers. So that begs the question, who are you? And what are you doing in my city? I understand. We've all got a past. And damn few of us have reason to be proud of it. That's all behind you now. In the pit, you'll be part of a growing army, a thriving industry, and maybe even witness to a cure for radiation. But we aren't perfect, and sometimes the past comes back to haunt us. Tell me, do you know a man named Werner? Ever since the city was scourged, we've done what everyone does. Whatever's necessary to survive. I know my city seems barbaric to you, but it's the only way we can carve out a home in this hellhole, and it's kept these people alive. But that's enough stalling for time. So do you know Werner? I appreciate your honesty. It's a rare virtue in this age. Werner was my lieutenant until he betrayed me and escaped justice. And if I know him, he brought you here to steal something very dear to the city. Do you intend to follow through with his plan? Feel free to be honest. Please, don't be intimidated by the turret behind you. Easy enough. You could say no because he lied to you. My discovery is a miracle. But it isn't the type that sets slaves free. Now it would do a lot more good if you were to. Lord Asher, the slaves are rioting and someone's armed them. We need you out here and fast. Damn it, I'm on my way. I suggest you forget Werner's offer. Consider mine. Stop Werner. And you'll have a bright future in the pit. Go find Werner and put a stop to him. Oh, I wasn't expecting Asher to let you into the lab. I'm Sandra, 
And if I know my husband, he's already made you an offer to join us, right? So you're here to see our little miracle, aren't you? This is my daughter Marie. She can be a handful, but my little angel is going to save the city. Actually, it's a combination lab and nursery. Little Marie needs a lot of attention and care if she's going to cure the city. Well, this is a nice surprise. Apparently you and Asher are the only other people who know anything about science in this place. Yes, it seems that our daughter was born with a naturally acquired immunity to any form of mutation. It's nothing short of a miracle, honestly. I'm still trying to figure out why, but she may just hold the key to stopping the Pitts trog problem. Hell, maybe other types of mutations too. Oh no, these tests are perfectly safe. In fact, between the crib and her uncanny health, she's probably the safest child in the world. Asher and I would never risk her health. And if that means it takes longer to develop a full cure, then, well, everyone else can wait. You're a dear, but things are well in hand here. If you really want to help, you should probably go deal with whatever had Asher rushing off in such a hurry. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to take care of one last test before Marie's nap time. Mind yourself in Lord Asher's home. So, I suppose you signed on with Asher and his kind, did you? <laughs> You're not the first to win their freedom and forget where they came from. Of course I knew you, dolt! I also know it's the only chance we had of finding a cure and ransoming our freedom. If they ever find a cure, do you think they'll share it with us? Of course not! Why waste medicine on people you'll just work to death anyway? It's not like we were going to harm her. We just needed to kidnap her for our freedom. Look, sometimes these things have to happen. Okay, okay. Werner was the one who wanted to steal the baby. I just wanted our freedom. I didn't think about what it would take. Werner's hiding in the steel yard. Look for a rooftop door in the southwest. There, are you happy? Go! Just stop looking at me like that!
Ah, you finally made it. I've got everything ready, and there are plenty of tests to run, so hurry up and put the... Brad... Wait. Where's the cure? Did you lose it? Where is that little bastard? Oh, boo-fucking-who. You don't think bringing those bastards down is worth getting your hands dirty? No, I guess you're okay with torturing slaving scum like that, just so long as you don't have to make a decision, huh? Oh, I see how it is. You signed on with Asher, and now you're gonna stand by your man. Maybe trying to catch his eye and be his queen? Well, good luck with that, star fucker. I'm sure the two of you will kill each other eventually, even without my help. You, him, and this whole town can burn for all I care. I'm gone. If you're so... I knew I could trust you, and I wasn't disappointed. Werner's been stopped. The workers are returning to their rightful place. Pitt has a bright future ahead of it, and so do you. Now that Marie's back, we have a chance at curing the disease that's been ravaging the pit since the bombs. Without it killing our kids, we can grow like a real city. No more bringing in slaves. No more forced labor. Things can get better. It's taken me a lot of work to rebuild this city. With your help, it's finally going to have a chance. Right now, nothing. Until we can reproduce a treatment from Marie, they'll have to keep working. Otherwise, this city falls apart. But once we do have a cure, things will be different. We won't need to kidnap people for our city. We'll be able to grow naturally. Until then, this is the way it has to be. It's just what has to be done. You've kept the city in one piece and put a stop to Werner's plans. Yeah, I guess you've earned one. As a full citizen of the pit, you'll have full access to the ammo press in the mill. It's how I keep my soldiers well armed. So make good use of it. And I think Sandra's made some progress with the cure. So here's a little something to help with radiation. That's up to you. We'll keep working on the cure and keep the city running. You're free to come and go as you like. Of course you can help out at the mill by collecting metal from the steel yard. It helped lighten the load on the workers. And if you want to work on Sandra's good side, you can always bring her toys for Marie. It's a little thing, but it'd make a difference. This thing? It's a relic from my time with the Brotherhood of Steel decades ago. It's been through so much that they'd hardly recognize it as one of theirs. A little like me, come to think of it. Not in the slightest. During the Scourge, we looted the pit and left the rest of it to rot. I was just a dumb convert who got stuck here afterwards. See, beneath it all, the Brotherhood's just lazy. 
It's easier to loot a dying city than to work to bring it back to life. So that's what they did. They're so obsessed with the technology of the past, they don't care what needs to be done for today and tomorrow. It takes real hard work to rebuild and run a city. But there isn't a machine to do it for them, so the Brotherhood isn't interested. Good riddance. You're always welcome in the pit. Damn smart. How'd you end up here, huh? Draw. Damn, glad you're on our side. You want something? 
Morning. Do you have any scrap metal for uh, Huh? Yeah. Are you serious? Why, I'll be. Thank you, stranger. So, are they intelligent? Do they have a leader? Some sort of... Okay, yes, they're jerks.
Good hunting. See. Oh, hey. You. See. Here, you've done. You're an ex. You'd best have cancer. You done? I really hope you're not thinking of breaking into there. <laughs> 